Hello and welcome to our step 4. We open our step 4 file. Within this step we will finish our basic construction. Now we switch into the level 3 view. We want to see our level 3 and our 3D view so we use the WT shortcut to tell our windows. With a shortcut set A, zoom all, you have a perfect view of the building. Now we want to create a wall on our third level. We select curtain wall standard and check if our top constraint is level 6. Now we select our rectangle tool, draw our wall on the level 3 floor. We hit the escape button. We also want to align our walls to the grid, so we switch into the modify tab, select align, we click the grid line and then the wall. Revit gives us the possibility to lock the wall to the grid. We want to do this. Now we also want to create floors in level 4, 5 and 6. So we select with the tab button our level 3 floor. With Ctrl C we copy it into the clipboard. Now we select paste, select lines to selected levels. Now we have the possibility to choose in which levels the floors should be placed. We select 4, 5 and 6 and here you see Revit automatically generates the floors. Now we want to change our element properties. We rotate our building and select our west and north facade. Now we change the element properties to exterior, wall and PK. Rotate our building again. Now we move in our modify tab. We select split element. We move into our level 3 view and split our curtain wall on the grid line 3. Now we want to match our element type. Select our stereo wall MPK on the north side and match the element type on the south side. So here you see Revit creates here the exterior wall. Now we want also to extend our columns. We select one column. With the right mouse button we use the select all instances in entire project tool. We want to extend them to the level 6, so we use attached to top. And now we select our top floor. Revit gives us an ignorable information, which we can ignore. If you accidentally exit a selection, you have the possibility to restore that selection. You use the right mouse button and select previous. And here Revit gives you the previous selection. So that's it for our fourth step. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back at step 5.